Here we go, night number six. We are absolutely steamrolling this run so far, which should come as a surprise to exactly no one, given that it is Lakeburg and we are ballistaing. Yeah, Elder Lake is definitely a challenging map. Definitely up there among the, the most challenging. All right, we're good there. I think I will... Just try and get rid of those, and then I think this... Just so that we don't have any weirdness with, uh, with anything else. You're a little weird, Casper, if I'm being honest, but you'll be fine. So, Dave, uh, I think, I think generally speaking, I, I don't, I don't have a great answer for you about what is a normal amount because it it varies a lot based on strategy. Uh, I would, I would generally say that what are you currently investing in to amp up your economy? I think is the the way that I would phrase the question. So, like, as an example, are you building gold mines? Are you building scav camps if you're looking for building materials specifically? Like, what are what are you doing to amp up your amp, amp things up? Like, for instance, the most recent Elder Lake run that I did, my the decision that I made was to use corpse piles as my primary source of of goodness and and materials, and that worked well. Uh, but I, I know people who do more of a production-based economy as well. Some gold mines and letting them get close. Okay, so yeah, so if you're doing if you're doing corpse strats, then I highly recommend uh, Omen of Scavenging. That's going to be a huge boon because it's 20% more from corpses. And then when you get mountains, which I, I presume you're getting a fair number of mountains then are you are you converting them into materials that's the and materials and gold basically I, I think those are those are the things that right off the cuff i would probably tweak but but that omen will help it's not gonna it's not gonna change the game for you like it'll help a little bit but but yeah i mean i'm i'm surprised to hear yeah convert them all to gold okay so yeah so i mean I think probably, I mean, one thing that might help just to, you know, I, I'm sure you've watched some of my attempts where I have done it. I just finished an Elder Licked run. And if you wanted, you could do a little bit of like a comparing notes type of thing just to see what, see how things looked on mine. I never feel particularly broke in terms of corpses in, in my runs. But when I'm doing corpse strats, I, I always feel like I have more gold than I know what to do with. Uh, but that being said, Elder Licked is is by far the hardest map, so it's uh, it's not surprising that it's that it's proving a little challenging. Uh, also, one thing that I found was uh, not destroying the seer. I think is very good for business. Like normally, I'm a, I'm an advocate of don't use the seer. It just slows people down. But you need that extra time to get rid of the ghosts. And to me, that's the biggest, like, difference maker that you're going to have. Yeah. And also, you know, if if you're if you're open to it, uh, I think there's probably some things to to learn from from watching my last playthrough and seeing where your decision making differed from my decision making. I think that that could be a very a very helpful way of kind of figuring out what's going on. There we go. Right now I'm thinking dagger dagger friend is gonna be working on this last guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna run out. That is uh Killy, that's that's what I'm I'm always going for. I think between the guide videos and uh and playing the game just at you know at a at a high-ish level but also trying to uh trying to make sure that i'm talking about the decisions that i'm making right now i'm not doing a great job of talking about the decisions that i'm making but we're doing okay 
I just don't want to spoil it. Oh yeah, definitely. If you're if you're looking not to spoil it, I think uh, I think that's super reasonable. And I would say just keep practicing. Uh, get your seer out so that you have that little bit of wiggle room, and then and then focus on siphoning your. You want your corpse piles to be contributing to having enough housing to be able to tear down the future corpse piles and you want to be building your heroes with very specific builds in mind you do those things and i think you will you'll eventually get there what the heck get out of here <laughs> get out of here bat is are you the last one left all right Die hard production strat, you know it's the weakest economy, but it's fun. Yeah, no, it, it is really fun, buddy. And and I wish that it was a little more balanced for exactly that reason. Um, wow. We're going right back to the well with exactly the same wave as we had before. Let's see. So at this point, we only need to build four ballistas. Do we think we're getting good gear yet? Probably not, but let's let's do it anyways. We'll we'll start gearing up our heroes. I wanna I wanna get a decent feel for how strong they are. We'll go we'll go resources out of these ones. And I'll go I'll go mats out of these. Oops, did I miss one of those? I guess I did. Disaster. All right. Does that put us? Does that put us at cap? I think it would have it would have closed the dialogue if we had gotten there. So I think we are not quite. I think we might be one off. Yep, we're one off. That's fine. We can build it next time. Yeah, that was that was one of the things that I was worried about at the beginning of stream. I kind of was like, you know. This, this run could go a lot of different directions. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. And uh, it's proving pretty darn straightforward. Let's see. Uh, that's, that's all garbage. Extra AP on a helm is good. Draining crystal. Movement and mana for 2 AP. That's not bad. But yes, this is, I I figured this first attempt we'd just be rocking. I right now I'm like we should have just went Apoc six. <laughs> um, sad, sad to say, but. Lakeburg, Lakeburg is a pretty straightforward one. Yeah, I, I decided, I decided to do that. It's, it's supposed to be a no XP run. That was the, that was the vision, but clearly, clearly that didn't happen. All right, we just picked up an insane amount of multi-hit yet again. So let's see, I think... I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that, that, and that. All right. So who had? I guess we're only at three multi-hit now. Oh, I guess we don't have the right one of those. And then for now, we can give you that. Doesn't really matter where we put a lot of stuff. This is just a good piece of armor. This is better than this, so we can sell that. Draining crystal. I don't care about. That doesn't matter. That can go. That can go. You can take this offhand for even more multi-hit. That's a better hand crossbow, which I think means... I think this wand goes away, even though it's plus multi-hit. I can't believe we're already at four multi-hit with no level ups. That's slightly absurd, but I kind of like it. Yes, I did not forget the multi-hit sword. The most important of, of all of the all of the swords. Let's see. Level four action potion we like. Do we even care about teleporting? On Lakeburg, we don't really. Hate to hate to say it, but I 
Okay, so we, we said we were going to get one more hero. Right? We still need one more hero. Pyromancer nudist that. So we're shopping for two things. Plague Doctor isn't bad. If we want to go... Ooh. Oh, two Propagation Bounces. I mean... Two Propagation Bounces. Can we, can we swing it? Minus seven mana on both of them. Dude has 16 mana. I don't think we can swing it. Ulysses can be our poison person, so I'll I'll recruit Ulysses. Not that they're gonna be all that all that great, but for now we'll leave the that multi hit there. But we could use a we could use a helmet also. But we just want things that have plus poison on them. That's the that's what we're shopping for at the moment. I mean, among other things, right? Like, I'm not gonna... Like, a better power staff is pretty good. I'm also, I'm also slightly baffled. We came up with a level 4 energy pot on this turn. I guess we're getting some level 4 gear. Well, I don't want to reroll past the other stuff, Killy. That's the only thing, right? We're also, obviously, still looking to gear up our other heroes. So I can't... I can't completely ignore everything else that's certainly a nice pair of pants uh, the xp is kind of wasted on us though all right that unfortunately if we had had that mana crystal i think i would have gone harder on on taking that guy that had no mana <laughs> and and tons of propagation bounces but grab that grab the power ring Ooh, another action point there. That's nice. So let's see. So you can take that. Then you can take that. You can take that. You can take that. Give you one of these. Isolation and opportunism apply their bonus for abilities that don't give. Yes, they do, question. Uh, the the abilities that have a isolation modifier. Like, let's see if we have one handy here. Yeah, so this has a 1.5x on isolation, but isolation as a percentage applies to every hit on a target that is isolated. Let's see. Do we just need another staff? Probably. Wait, was there something that I was like, ooh, we should buy that? Yeah, it's that. Yeah, taking another action point I think is better than... Ulysses doesn't need a second. Doesn't need a second one. All right, but we got to start finding some more stuff then over here. You two are dang strong. We'll put Ulysses with only one weapon here. Put you three like this. Let's do some demolition so that nothing is stopping the, the clown car parade from the mist. All right. Let's, uh, let's do the thing. Night number seven. Here we go. All right. Looks like, looks like we're going to have some flanky bats, which is always, always a pleasure. come over here. I just want... Actually, hold on. Before you before you do that, if we just walk like a few like this. I'm doing that because I just... I don't want this hopper to come in and poison me. Do I have enough range... Sadly, no. All right. That's all fine. We got no problems with vision over here. So I think we just let her rip. 
So short bow basic attack still benefits from isolation, even if the ability doesn't have the bonus. That is 100% correct, uh, Killy. Yes. Oh yeah, a poison hero... A poison hero without... Uh, without volatile that's kind of uh that's kind of like sad we do have our first bulky not not super concerned about it, but... Too many hits. Alright. I guess I could have softened up those ones in the back, but that's okay. And then we're a little shy on... On movement, so I'll actually do that, so we can just top ourselves back up. All right, and then do we want to start poking the bear? And by the bear, I mean the bulky. I think rather than poking the bulky, I might just want to slow it down a touch. Yeah, well, if, if that's going to be our only or one of a few bulkies that we deal with, we can probably just keep it held in place and deal with the rest of the stuff separately. Oh my god, so many, so many multi-hits. Now, granted, they're not doing a lot. Among other things, we have basically no resistance reduction, so things that are resistant are just really annoying to kill. What, is, what does this look like right now? The, the poison isn't terrible. If we start stacking up some gear on Casper, I think they might uh they might be okay. And I'm just gonna poke away. We got another guy coming in. We have this we have this kind of unfortunate situation where I don't really want to I don't want to mess with the bulky quite yet. Because it's not gonna be in the haven yet. So I think I'm just it's gonna walk to here. One, two, three, four, five. We're extremely safe. Might just come over here and start chipping away at these bats because why not? Oh my gosh, so much multi-hit. And then we start, we restart the cycle. Oh, we're out. Okay. All right, close enough. Yeah, we're safe. Yeah, see I wanted to make sure that the I wanted to make sure that the bulky actually made it in before How hard are you hitting? Yeah, it's not great. One two, one two, one two, one two.
bats are bats are up there with my least favorite enemies. Okay, good enough. Let's see. This this strikes me as there must be a decent rain of arrows in here. Apparently there is not a decent rain of arrows. Bah humbug. Okay, so I want to just. I'll just do something like that. Probably would have been worth getting the, the panic reduced before I just did that, but... I do, Wode, I do. It, it makes sense to me lore-wise, but I understand why they changed it. I think that bats are an interesting enemy to fight. Hey Abigail! I mean so far it's been it's been a bit of a a bit of a snooze fest just because we've been we've been abusing our ballistas as as one might expect. They are gargoyles technically, yes. Let's see. You need to be taken care of. But yeah, I think I think we may need to redo this challenge, Abigail, because I feel like I need to do it without uh, without ballistas. Oh, this is awkward. I don't think there's any way you can get where we need to get. Uh, how do we? All right, we got energy potions. Ooh, good, good crit there for sure. So let's see, what do we, what do we need to do here? That was probably not the correct way to do that, but that's okay. We'll see, Abigail. I doubt it. <laughs> but but you never know. You never know. I uh, I think that the the way that I'm looking at this run right now is that the the cap on how good your heroes can get is so low that I don't think I don't think economy is all that important. Like I think if you have the best gear in the game, you're you're still gonna be like struggling from a like hero power perspective but i i also i mean i also have five multi-hit on this hero already so i don't know seems seems to me like the gear is the gear is gonna come that, that's by the way that's five multi-hit plus a uh plus a mana crystal so we can kind of cast to our heart's content Oh, I'm out of I'm out of movement. Eh, we can fix that. Please hold. But yeah, I mean, only only time will tell. I I think it is uh, it is too early to call it. But I I think right now we're just we're cruising quite uh, quite delightfully. I miss uh I miss the. I missed no dodge on the shortbow's primary attack. I think that was a good one. All right, let's see. Let's get... I also think poison is uh, is pretty decent. Let's see, you have... I think this is a guaranteed kill. Okay. 
the bulkies should both make it in, which is fine. I think you're... We haven't even used you yet, you poor, poor sap. Maybe this will be the time, but... Yeah, I, I feel like one needed didn't need a lot, if I'm being honest. But uh Yeah, I, I don't have a good feel for uh Jan, I've used a lot of your mana, haven't I? Let's see, so. Ah, so what's the plan here? I think we I think we start out with With just poking and prodding at people a little bit here. the magic to get rid of the resistance there and then I think yeah Lakeberg's a little light on uh oops that was way overkill followed by way underkill Lakeberg's a little light on on elites as a general rule of thumb I don't even think I need it. All right, that's that's one. All right, the bulkies are stunned, so now all I really need to do is... Oh, I should have counted that first. All right, well, we got it anyways. Can we give you a mana crystal? Not yet. No contaminates, a bit of a sad state of affairs, but... Am I gonna get poisoned here? No. It's range three. Alright, so let's see. Be gone, bulky. Be gone, bulky. Whoops. Okay, make sure we're topped off on mana. Should be an enemy who can cast an AoE that disables a ballista. I I kind of feel like that's what Misty is. I I totally hear you, but you know, like I think that was their their vision for it at least. And then, and and honestly, it does mess with ballista strategies a little bit. All right. That is correct, Killy Dude. They they can target the misty enemy because the misty enemy is visible. But there you have it in all of its uh, in all of its glory. Ulysses rocking zero kills on that night. His his debut night coming out not exactly uh, not exactly crackalackin'. This is also good practice for when we start doing speed running, Abigail. That's the other thing we were talking about. All right, we have we have reached the point where we're just we're corpsing for. Items. Or or the other way around in Lustrous. I feel like there's also there's also that. Now, Jan, what's your deal? Do we really care about you? I think you're one of our OGs. Yeah, you're pretty bad. So let's go, let's go to the well and see if we have anybody who's a spicy, spicy boy or girl. So far, I'm unimpressed. A cult hunter is kind of interesting, but not great. Nah, those all seem bad. Uh, we certainly haven't needed to, Abigail. Uh, we even have one hero who's one-handed. <laughs> 
a one-handed heavy sleeping uh, sniper. I Oh, by the way, I don't remember when we talked about this. I do think heavy sleeper occasionally the hero shouldn't show up at the beginning of the night but that's a that's a, a a random aside all right let's just get some gear cursed pants are okay ah, some slayer armor is pretty cool the those buff items i think are are extra nice that could be a reroll though this could definitely be a reroll just just sleeps through their shift. I think that that could that could work for me. Let's see. That is some of the worst. I mean, it's good for selling, but that is some of the worst epic armor I think I have seen in a while. Yeah, that's definite reroll territory. Mana ring with crit power is pretty mad. We don't have a second druid staff, but we'll do better than both of those, I think. Exactly, but but they leave you they leave you to die uh, during the during the night in this case. It's like if in Darkest Dungeon at the start of your uh, your run the dude just didn't show up for uh, for roll call. That would be pretty hilarious. How much is selling for? Thirty three. Uh, we got thirty seven for the goat helm. I'll grab that. It's the second time we've seen one of these adamantium crossbows come into the thick of things. But, like, the gear is pretty uninspired at this point. Like, we're pretty early on, so, like, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time looking at gear that probably will get replaced on, like, the final night. Do like, I do like warrior armor. I think it's I think it's good for this run. Anything that has a buff is going to give you an outsized benefit. Nice helm for for variety of people. We do really like crystal amulets though for the AP, but I think I think the helm is better. I I loved DD1, but I I also love DD2. I think they I think there is space in this world for both of them. And I'm glad that they didn't just remake DD1. I, I think someone will mod DD2 to be like DD1. So we don't we don't have to wait for them. Yeah, I, I think uh Abigail, we're gonna change we're gonna change the rules up and do this run again in the future. Uh maybe next week, in fact. And I'm gonna make it a little more a little more punishing by banning myself from using ballista. But I decided that the first thing we should do is we should get a handle on the actual like nature of the challenge and just get a feel for what that looks like. I'll take that, but I don't like it. You know, first it, the first thing I think you're supposed to do with any challenge run is just try and rise to the rise to the occasion and beat the challenge. And then I'll give it one roll. And then after you've done that, then there's a a discussion to be had about, you know, making the challenge harder. But right now I'm just I'm just trying to follow the letter of the law, as it were. Let's see. So you add no second weapon, we can take that. We can give you the poison shield for a little bit of extra oomph, which means that's not gonna get used. Where'd our power staff go? Oh there it is. Grab that. Who's a ranged person who has a trinket slot? It would be you. Yeah, you don't need a propagation bounce. We'll give you that. That can go, that can go. Warrior's armor is just good for increasing some damage. Level four short bow. Is this better than the crown that we're rocking? 4% versus 7%, but we can also put this on we can also use this for its poison value. So I think I'll do that. Swap that there. Go Goat Helm is not that interesting. Fur Pants, undoubtedly useful on someone. Let's grab them there. Right now you're getting an AP. That's all fine. Uh, damage, range damage, we'll take that. This is just terrible. Not not having named my heroes is is proving slightly frustrating. 
I should probably just go back and do that, but there we go. Yes, RC. Uh, I, I sent out a call specifically last week asking for uh, for people to give me challenge run suggestions, and that uh, that call remains uh, remains a thing. I'll remind everyone where the Discord lives in case people are curious and want to contribute their ideas. 16 crit on a shield. I'll take that for sure. Power staff with some range on it seems good too. Like right now I'm kind of like, do we even need... I mean, the gear's, the gear's starting to get good, so we should, we should pick it up when we have the opportunity. Did my Discord bot fail? Is my bot not working? That's weird. Doesn't seem to have pulled the data from the sheet properly. Do to do to do. Huh. Interesting. Well, let me. You see the link? Oh yeah, the link did show up in Twitch chat. Just didn't show up in YouTube chat. Here, I'll, I'll copy it over. Ah, stop that. Come on. The place we wanted it was in YouTube land. There we go. All right. What am I? Some kind of farmer here? This is outrageous. Uh, and then, oh, I did this. There we go. All right. Now we're back. Now we're back up and running. No, YouTube is still working. See, I, I showed up there, so it didn't break YouTube, but something something funky happened with my bot, and I didn't actually see an error. Palin Greaves are good. I'll grab those. The minus accuracy is a little hard to handle. That shield, uh, there's an argument for it, but I don't think we need it. That momentum isn't important. No. Skill range and momentum, not really. Action point shield's good. Actually, I guess we have, we have at least one hand crossbow that's just boring. I know I'm buying just a lot of like random random stuff but that was that was some good some good digs now let's see did someone who else is multi-hitting we'll do that do that that can go away and then that was that was fine this i think is better okay who wants who wants 16 crit? Oh, we should replace Casper. Did we look at people on this night? Have we looked in the inn? Yeah, we didn't really see anyone that we were too excited about. All right, so we'll save we'll save the shield just because I think it's going to come in handy in the future. For now, we're not really using these offhands. This one is this one is nice. This one was just as an offhand. And I think I'd rather have the AP here. Poison's good on you. You could use like a one-hander. I feel like maybe we ditch the short bow, do that and that. Up to 41% crit. Hi, how you doing? Accuracy goes down a bit. We're going to need to pick up some accuracy, but that's okay. And then I think if we if we sell this stuff, and I might, I might hang on. Nah, we won't hang on to that. Ooh, that's a nice shield. That wasn't even the thing that I was like, oh, I'd be sad if we rolled past this. There was something else in here. Was it the warp crystal? Warp crystal with with poison on it seems too good to pass up. Yeah, we can do that. And then this shield gets sold, but then this AP. We like the multi-hit there. This shield will be good once we get something better. This shield, though, can be sold. I think there's something else I was like, oh, I'd like to pick up that. Eh. Oh, well. I think we're okay. Let's see. We... We get to build one more ballista. Put it there. 
And then now we're gonna start we're gonna start walling ourselves in. Almost got a full surround here. In fact, did we? I think we might have. I think we might have full surrounded exactly. Exact lethal <laughs> on surrounding. Let's see, we'll put you two over here, you two over here, you here with you. Eh, actually, I'm going to put you here and we'll put our other multi hit hero here. Let's get our demolishing going. We should also build some warp gates at some point, but